Hi everyone! Today we are going to learn how to apply at AVC so that you can take classes this fall. So the first thing that I have here is I am on a Google page. Okay, so and in this address bar, I am going to type in Antelope Valley College. We just need to type in those three words in that address bar and hit enter on your keyboard. This pulls you up. The very first link is the Antelope Valley College homepage link. So go ahead and we're going to choose this. And this brings us to Antelope Valley College's homepage. And where we're going to be really interested in looking is we have this apply button. Um, but we and we're going to go ahead and click it. And once you click on this apply button right up here, it's going to bring you to this page that says steps for enrollment at AVC. And this is a really nice website because it really outlines every single step that you're going to have to take. Now, some of these won't apply to the ESL program, such as financial aid. All the courses are non-credit, um, so you aren't paying for them, so we don't need financial aid. Um, parking permit, we are not going to campus this semester, so we don't need a parking permit. But these other one steps are very important, and you will want to follow them. But the one we're going to go through right now is the online application. And you're going to go ahead and click on this link. And this brings you to this page. And if you are new, which I'm assuming that you are, you are going to choose create an account. This is if you have never done this step before. So you're going to create an account. And it's going to let you know that you have to have an email address. You can use a Gmail account, a Yahoo account, an Outlook, whatever it is that your email is, you can use. And then you're going to choose begin creating my account. And this pulls you up to all the information, such as your legal name, um, your date of birth, all the regular information, but it does also come to this social security question. Now this is sometimes a concern for students because they don't have a social security number. And, but one of the choices, no, I do not have a social security number. And the good thing um, about this, if you click right here, um, if you are taking non-credit courses, you are not required to provide a social security number, which our courses are non-credit um, so you could either choose yes you have one or no you don't depending on your situation and then you would click continue and you would keep going through the different steps that you would need to in order to create that application once you are done with that you will also then want to create or follow these next um, steps that are listed here so that is as easy it is to apply um, for admission to Antelope Valley College and to register to attend the college. Once you are a student, you are going to go to this button that's called class schedule, class schedule. And when you click on that, it is going to bring you to a class lookup, a schedule of classes. Now this next step can trick you okay it took me a long time to figure this out and I made so many mistakes with it but I'm gonna teach you the first time you're gonna to go to term and you're going to select fall now here's the tricky step you have to click this button select term okay if you don't it will give you the schedule for summer I don't know why but you do so make sure you click select term to get the fall schedule then you're going to come over here and you're going to use this menu and you're going to go to ESL, English as a Second Language. And you're going to click that and you can hit search. And this will pull up all the courses that we are offering for ESL at Antelope Valley College. And as you see, they are all listed as online. Okay, they are all listed as online. And what that means is that we won't be face-to-face, -face, 
Um, and you will meet in some form. It may be through a Zoom, it may be an assignment, but you will meet in some form on the days and times that are given on the schedule, okay? It doesn't always mean that you'll be Zooming on, but you will have an assignment, an activity, or a Zoom session with an instructor during those times. And as you can see, we have different levels. We have a civics course, we have reading and writing, skills building, vocabulary and pronunciation, grammar, and you can go ahead and register for those courses. So hopefully this will help you understand how to apply for AVC and the steps that you need to take.